Commander, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Machia, the political incorrect. Uh, we coming to you from Cariso in West Rand. Uh, Commander, please, just for those who do not know, just take your time, explain to them your name, your surname, where you're from, and then you tell us about your capacity in MK. Okay, uh, thank you for the opportunity to, uh, 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 to speak to the West Rand uh, radio station or, or, or media. Yes. Uh, my name is uh, Sitlen Gubane. I'm the member of parliament in Cape Town for MK. Uh, I'm deployed here uh, uh, for uh, election campaign right up until with the voting time. So I'm here to assist in campaign as a deployee from the national parliament. It's not only me that is deployed here, it's me and his talent Agubega, and his Carol Mafakane and then Shaley Brown. So four of us are deployed here. So we're here to come and support uh, uh, Comrade Sambri, uh, a councillor here to support him so that we win this one. Thank you very much. Uh, how did you find conditions on the ground, especially because, uh, you know, uh, this ward, uh, it was an ANC ward. And uh, I don't know if you, do you know how well did you do in 29th of May elections in this particular ward? And what are your chances of taking it? So this is a ward where we became number two in it. So there are good chances that we might take this ward as well. So people are on a daily basis getting impressed by the MK's stance and political uh, 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 opportunist and political stance in everything. So for example, uh, ANC has shown itself that it's really, really an organization of puppet. It's an organization of sellout. Uh, how on earth can you leave your people and go and partner with white people when we know that we're fighting the agenda, I'm a, capital, I'm a capitalist, who are oppressing our people. So ANC has now made it in public that us, them as ANC, they are a political party of sellouts, they don't care about the interest of people. All what they care about for our people is, is RTP and only the 350 grand. And our people are not those people, those things. They are not things of grants and RTPs. Our people are business people, they are uh, uh, traders, they are uh, uh, academics, they want to elevate themselves and have access to opportunities of economies of this country. So MK is bringing that to those people. So this is what that we did very well on it. So, and then we have an opportunity now to excel more in this world. Thank you. I, I was part of your motorcade, quite impressive. You had numbers, every street that you followed, people were loving and they were showing love to MK. Uh, what I've noticed is all regions of Gauteng seem to have been represented, Tswane, Sidiweng, you know, city of Johannesburg, and I was very impressed. Do you know what happened to uh, Ekurulen region? Is there any presence here? All the regions are here. Egurulen came, they were here in the morning and they came and assisted us with the other motorcade that we had in the morning and the sports that we were doing with other political parties. So, so, so they were here. So they came and assisted us. This is how we do as MK. We flock each region and each ward. All the regions come and support one another. So they did that. We have that unity within MK where wherever there is activity in any ward or any region, we go and support one another to give one another that uh, brotherly support so that we win the ward. I know there are people who jumped in particular. Uh, Mpomorolani, I was with him here. Yeah? He went to uh, Soweto. There. So are you having a by-election as well there? There is a campaign as well there in Johannesburg and Eguruleni and in any other regions. Mpomor Moran as well is, is, is running his campaign as well in his ward there. So it's, there's all this pocket of by-election uh, happening. So we're supporting one another in all these by-elections that are happening. This in particular is going to be very challenging for uh, Comrade Floyd, your national uh, organizer. Uh, on the ground here, I see there's a big disunity between MK and PCC. What's the official stance of MK regarding the PCC and who are they? So uh, I'm, I'm not going to dwell in much in the divisions at this stage. Here we are coming to unite MK. Each and every time, the reason why you see there's this in, in fighting division MK is because people are seeing that this is the only home. This is the only vehicle that will free them. So all comrades are coming from all political parties to come here. Now when they come here, there's that power tussle. You've seen even in our leadership, we are being joined by comrades from EFF, from SARS, SARA, from uh, Chiluva, everywhere. That alone, it gives that, that tussling 
of coming to come and, and join MK. So there is that tussling. It's not a bad thing. It's only that SMK we need to manage our growth effectively and in a much more harmonious so we are managing those divisions uh, as we go along. The other party, you know, it has this alliance as well where they argue. Uh, there is a political argument. So each and every politics, political party have those things of theirs. In MK, the only challenge as we are having is an influx of every people from all political parties seeing this as the only hope. Jacob Zuma is the only hope. Uh, for people. That's why you're seeing this. But uh, we will manage those uh, 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 differences very well and go over and win this one and win even the 2026 uh, local government election. I'm asking you because I did make various attempts to speak to PCC. I want to understand who are they, what are they, are they a political party, are they a civil organization and you work with them on the ground. Just explain to me uh, who are they? It's a civic organization in the province that we work together with. Remember, as MK, we're formulating our own civic organization as well, out from Sanko. So there's all of this tussle civic organization. You know, in, in Northwest, there is another civic organization as well that is in parliament. So there are all these pockets of civic organization who are championing the interest of people. But all what we are care about as MK is that are we all trying to champion the interests of people. We want to service the people. If that's the gain and that's the aim, we will all embrace PCC and work with them. MK is all about servicing our people on the ground. It's not about the differences. Watch the space. All these other pockets of organization, Sarah and Shiluva, they are closing shop and coming to MK. Even other uh, civic organization as well. We work very hard to say, throw these things away, come here and be an MK. That's what we are doing. We're making sure that when people come on board, we bring them as they are and we start to speak to them to say, there is MK, come on board, join MK, throw all these divisions away and all these pockets of little organization. That doesn't have a leader like Jacob Zuma. Leader is a leader, uh, Jacob Zuma is a leader of MK party. So when people come here with their political parties, we bring them in and then start to speak to them so that we change their mind and say, this is your home as well. Does it bother you that the people amongst you here who believe that the candidate comes from PCC or was fielded by PCC or was given resources by PCC, does it bother you? It doesn't bother me at all. As long as it is people on the ground that has worked for the community. All these people are now candidates for MK. All what we need to do, we're trying to unite our people on the ground. It bothers me, the division, but... We're trying to unite them. That's our focus now. Is to say, no matter whether they are P PCC or what, but let's all come and work together and service the community and bring back what the ANC has failed to do on our people. They failed to repair a road. They failed to bring sanitation to our people. They failed to, to solve the issues of electricity. You see Comrade Sambier. He was talking about he was championing uh, uh, the, the generators and, 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 and the workstation that he was assisting the community with electricity. As long as the candidate is about servicing the people, MK will embrace that. We will unite those people. I know there is unhappiness in all the people of MK about the candidate and this, the bring this candidate and all those stuff, but we'll do our very best to unite these divisions in MK. You are a victim of your own success. The bigger you are, the more you are going to attract people. Uh, there are people inside MK who are not happy that, well, we welcome these cadres from coming, as long as they're not parachuted. Uh, you know, parachuting is always blamed, but are the same people who are crying that MK does not have capacity. When you recruit people, when you headhunt people to come and add capacity, uh, people fight. How do you strike the balance between this delicate process of not disheartening, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the ground forces, so they could understand that when you grow, you need to grow capacity as well. And there are certain capacities that are not fine within MK. That's why you welcome other people. How do you balance these two things? How we balance it? We call the comrades. I was at uh, somebody's house. I did exactly that, that thing. I called all of them. I told them an example. Look at in Johannesburg. I had a meeting with the, about 20 comrades from, e, from other organization part who were saying to me, uh, we want to come on board. We've already went online and filled in the form. 
and join the MK. We are from the other political parties. But come 2026, we want to run the campaign of MK for local government elections. So that capacity, these people are not coming with just their hands. They are bringing something that we don't have. It's up to us at MK to recognize that these people are coming to assist MK. All of us, if they are coming here, we have one common enemy. Our one common enemy is the ANC, the selling out, the puppet organization that has, that has, that has ignored and has left the, 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 the common cause for, 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 for campaigning for our people. So our, com, our cause is to make sure that we, we champion the interest of the people and solve the problems for our people, the housing problems, the, uh, the, the, the sanitary problems, the electricity problems. If those people are bringing the capacity, we will speak to that to these other comrades to make them to, to see the bigger picture. That is not about positions. It's about building this organization to make it grow big and have capacity to service our people. It's useless. It's useless to, to sit on a position, but you don't have a capacity. And here is a comrade who is coming to help you and bring you capacity, which once he brought this capacity and made this organization flourish and attractive, you are going to be the, the beneficiary as well. So that's what we are doing now. We're educating our comrades that as our comrades come and join, join in, they're bringing capacity that we don't have. Actually, we need to manage growth very well and grow in unison. Thank you very much, Commander Moni. Thank you so much, uh, Commander Thank, Thank you. you.